Good morning, hello, and welcome back to my channel. You guessed it by the title, I am in Ibiza, and I am with my bestie, who is probably gonna pop up behind in a second. <gasps> Here she is. We're so excited, we got such an early flight. When I say we left the house at 3 a.m., my ring is telling me that I have had two hours sleep. We are very tired, but we made it. We are so excited to be here. Emily and I decided that we needed a girls' trip. Have you told them how, like, soon ago we booked the flights? We booked the flight, like, literally last night, guys. <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> Crazy. Literally, it was crazy. But basically, we decided that we needed a girls' trip. It was between Mallorca and Ibiza, and I really, really pushed for this because I love it here so much. I, when I say I pushed, I actually went ahead and organised it. I okay. was like, by the way, this you know is what, what I said going. to my dad. I said I'm going to Ibiza next week. Oh no, not next week. I said I'm going to Ibiza in a couple of days. He went, oh nice. Well, yeah, I wanted to go to Mallorca. And Em wanted to go to Ibiza. So that's why so we're going to Ibiza. <laughs> oh, we'll go into Ibiza. And also, I also oh. said, I wouldn't be able to tell either way if I closed my eyes, so I don't mind. <laughs> that's very offensive. Um, no, it's not. No, they're very different. We're, they're, we're so close to We're Ibiza. close, but they're very different. So basically, we are here and we're staying at the Mi Hotel, which is stunning. It's my second time staying here. And the exciting thing is, they have their 10 year anniversary party tonight, which they've kindly invited us to. So we've tied in the girls' trip with a very special 10 year party tonight like 10 years of the me hotel here which is so exciting it's one of the best hotels on the island it's also in a really calm lovely part of the island if you've watched any of my other vlogs you'll have seen all of my recommendations we always get cars we drive around the island i've got so many crazy recommendations for you guys if you want to see them but now we're just gonna relax so they've very kindly organized us a barley bed up on the top roof so we're gonna go there we're gonna have some food we're just gonna enjoy so let me give you a quick room tour that i filmed when i walked in and then let's go this is the room absolutely gorgeous i just love how white and here she is eating snacks we have arrived i love how like i mean it is just the gorgeous style i also love that they have co bigelow in here which is my favorite new york um apothecary theory i can never pronounce that Apatheca said that very. And this is the room. They were at full capacity, so I think the CV ones had all sold out. Last time I came, we had the most, well, this is sea view, but we had the most insane pool view, but we'll take you and show you everything. This is actually karma, and it's so cool to see Nikki Beach because that was closed last time I came. We've got all the snacks. I always remember how good this mirror was, and then the bed is just gorgeous. It's such a nice, big, airy room. I'm so happy. Isn't there a 10 year party? It's a 10 year anniversary, so which is so crazy. cool. Chocolate covered popcorn. Okay, so. Some snacks, which we're eating. And it's their 10th year anniversary party, which is so exciting. We need to add chocolate covered popcorn to our like dates. And uh, we should start this. making some. That's a great idea. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I love it up here so much. Yes, we're gonna get a big fish to shove with some salads. <laughs> First alioli of the trip, and also this is the best salt ever. Yeah, we've gone from energy balls to hummus. I love that. Growth. Growth. She is sub. Look at that. Gorgeous.
Good afternoon. We have literally spent today lounging around. It was our day to just enjoy the rooftop, enjoy the food. We had the most amazing fish. The lunch we had, I'm so sorry, it was so loud down there. I literally could not vlog, but the lunch we had was so great. Then we just had an Aperol spritz up on the rooftop, and now we are going to go and check out the gym before the party tonight. from a very sweaty gym session. Emily is steaming my dress. Apparently this is a thing. Oh my God, it's actually worked. Yeah, of course. I have never seen this happen in my life. Apparently the best way to steam a dress is to just hang it in the shower. I'm genuinely shell shocked. Sheldon shocked. I am Sheldon shocked at this. And this is tonight's dress for the party. Good evening. So we went to the gym, we did a sweaty gym session and now we are heading to the 10 year party. I feel like we need some champagne or something in the room to be honest, or some wine, that would be really nice. So, I am going to put on a yellow dress that Emily has just steamed for me. How great is that? Like, I did not know, comment below, did you know that you could put your dress in the shower and steam it? That is genius. So I'm just getting into my new dress, and basically, I like Emily's and Emily likes mine. So it's perfect because we're the same size. We can share. So we can share. When I told Emily I'd ordered this dress, she was like, what size did you get? Yeah. Because sometimes I have to size up for my back. And this time I did not. Of course, I just dropped my camera because there's no room in here because we've taken up the whole place and I broke it. So sorry about that. So I just realized it's actually meant to be like this. And then you fasten it. So now it actually looks a lot better because I think this is how it's meant to be worn. So we will see you down at the 10 year anniversary birthday party. Official theme was yellow. Hello. So we're both in yellow, we're both in little sunshines. Emily's very kindly fastened me up. Let's go. Here are the fits and we are on the rooftop. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous up here. I went for these earrings. And oh la. How gorgeous, it's amazing up here. So we're gonna head down to the party, which is by the pool, but I wanted to show you the outfits outside. So beautiful up here. This is Radio Rooftop, which is on top of the hotel. And it's just out of this world beautiful. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's oyster shucking. Oh my gosh, I have oyster shucking. No, this is my dream. I'm gonna get some oysters. One thing about me, I absolutely love oysters. all the sushi look how good this is oh my gosh she put sauce on it for you this hotel is so great oh my god they have so much sushi here we have got sushi and then i'm gonna get some oysters we got they had watermelon sushi how cute is that so we're just down at the mead they have tarot card readings they have amazing artwork they have the most amazing ham they have cheese platters and this is tuna sushi from Nikki Beach which is next door. Wow. This sushi is so good here but I think we're going to get oysters and then back to sushi. Oh she's coming around with cheese. <gasps> they just keep coming around with food. Happy 10 years me. And this is, I don't know, it's quite some some type. Oh. Really, really refreshing and delicious. I might have to get some sangria. Oh I wonder what she's coming around with. I love watching them come around with food. No, it's a mini fish and chips. Chips? 
We make fish and crisp. Fish and crisp. Nice. Oh, is that a beetroot crisp? Yeah. Smoke some for you. Are we going to eat some shoes here at Nicky Beach tomorrow? Is there anything? Well, yeah, but I couldn't grab it because I didn't have enough ham. Oh. Normally I would have it with like lemon and some um, like spicy sauce. Yum. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go too. Very excited to get my mic. This hotel opened its doors 10 years ago and we believe we embarked on a journey for Ibiza into a different place of sustainability and spirituality. We had a vision beyond luxury hospitality to showcase this wonderful island of Ibiza not just for the party, not just for the DJs but for the nature, for what you can see, for what you can see is free. As my boss tells me, the view is what you pay for. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to be the custodian of this hotel now. Many general managers will stand here in years to come, but I am proud to be the one standing here today after 10 years of the Meet Ibiza. So enjoy the view, the sundown, the music, and thank you once again for coming. I'm now going to hand over to Pablo, who is the hotel director, who is now going to talk in Spanish. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Anne. We're on with Ali Oli, aka my dream come true. <laughs> so much sushi. Look at these views. I just keep finding snacks. I don't know what these ones are, but they look delicious. What would it be? Well, why don't we try one of these? Okay. Thank you. I don't know how many times I'm gonna pick up Emily's camera by accident, we have the same camera, but I've just popped a cutesy little outfit on because we are actually heading on a walk. We have had so much fun at the party, but we're gonna go try find a late night supermarket. Can I just say, that was amazing. We met the hotel manager and they were saying 10 years, which is so amazing. And they were talking about the sustainability of the hotel and how it's literally just surrounded by nature and that everyone comes here for the views and the really good food. So it was so, so, so delicious. We had amazing canapes. They had live chefs. We had oysters literally shucked in front of us. We had ham that was literally cut in front of us. Amazing drink. Such a great way to like experience all of the hotel because there's quite a few restaurants and bars in here that we actually showed you one of them today. So now we're gonna go try I find a little supermarket because it's our favorite thing to do. Alright, I'm just got my exact shot location. Good morning, I just stole Emily's vlog shot. She just put her vlog camera right next to mine. I didn't see the exact same vlog shot from both of us, but we're talking about different topics. We look like we've been hit by a bus. We are so tired. We woke up and we were like, what is wrong with us? I don't know, but we are so tired. Maybe it's yesterday adding up on us, building up on us. We'd planned to do a sunset walk, that sunset, sunrise. sunrise walk this morning, and there was no sunrise, it's quite muggy this morning. We did get up though. Um, so, we're gonna go on a nice walk. We're gonna go for some breakfast at the hotel because the breakfast is so great here. Fuel our bodies and then we're just gonna go for a really nice walk which I'm actually really excited about. We're gonna walk around the cove, explore, and then hopefully the sun will have lifted for late today. So, let's do one of my favorite things, go and get breakfast together. I have to say, I feel like breakfast dates are better than actual dates because Heck yeah. Brunch, breakfast, we need to normalize going for breakfast dates. So I'm going for a breakfast date with my best friend. My best friend, wherever she is. Well, you know it is Friday date night. Friday date night. Let's go. No best on my sleep score. Like hanging cheesy pretzels. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Waffles. I love to see if a place does like alternative milks. So good, we've got oat milk, skimmed milk. 
They've also got all of their kind of like nuts, chia seeds, grated coconut, beer pots, which I love. They have a really good wellness program here. They do like morning aerial yoga and stuff. So I feel like they have a lot of really good fitness things, like overnight oats, yogurt pots, Greek yogurt, which I'm obviously gonna get. Oh my gosh, they call this the yogurt corner. How cute is that? Actual breakfast, this looks amazing. Like the eggs with the, I don't even know what they are. Eggs with chickpeas, how great does that look? Emily will be all over that. Made breads, they have banana bread. All of their cold cuts here, absolutely delicious. And all of the cheese. The eggs here. Oh, you can get them poached fried, scrambled, or benedict. I wonder if they can do them jammy. Like a beetroot dip, like a beetroot hummus for breakfast. How gorgeous. I make myself a really good avocado on toast, yum. Oh, they actually have avocado on toast, but I can't have it because it has fish on top of it, so I'm gonna make my own. Amazing. Ignoring the weather, oh my goodness, I've gone for olive bread with guacamole on top. Emily did go for this. I think I'm gonna copy her and get one. I should have actually got that to go on top of my toast. Oh my gosh. Chickpeas with egg. So healthy and delicious. I've got avocado. I've added pomegranate seeds because I actually did like a nutrition test the other day and pomegranate seeds are really high and stuff so I need more of them. I've got tomatoes. I've got a poached egg and then papaya is my favorite fruit and also Spanish cherries are my favorite. I've got some beetroot hummus and I've got a chia pot. It doesn't get better than this. This is quite upsetting, but I have just realized I've never had like a coffee brought to me in bed or a matcha brought to me in bed. And you know, there's like those videos on TikTok where it's like, oh my gosh, my boyfriend, like without asking, a, a girl's love language is something happening without asking. So like your boyfriend or husband or wife or whoever brings you your drink in bed. Emily just brought me a matcha without me even asking. She is the dream boyfriend. She got me an almond matcha. That's how well she knows me. It just arrived and I'm like, you are the dream husband. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I do like you. She's my husband. Cheers to us. She's just like... Iconic that they even do matcha here. Ice, so I could ice it. Stop it. It is, I will always have a side of Nutella. <laughs> Health is wealth. said let's go on a hike this always happens when I come here I just get stuck in the jungle be cuties hello sleepy cuties you're so cute <laughs> it's closed today but here's the hippie market the supermarket oh my god they have ruffles these are the best ruffles ever my mum went to Barcelona recently and she didn't try them I was like mum if you're in Spain you have to try the ham ruffles so many good sweets with like the cutest packaging. I just love European supermarkets. But oh, this is the prettiest spritz bottle. Wow, how nice. Oh my gosh, you found the Milka. The Milka section. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love the chocolate covered Oreos. We'll go to a different one, but it's always nice to pop in. The thing here is it's so good. They have so many like gorgeous crochet pieces. It's honestly one of my favorite places in Europe to shop. I absolutely do not need this, but tell me why that's the cutest makeup bag. Love that. Hunt for some salt. I want to get the Ibiza salt that I saw. Thing about Eminem, we absolutely love a walk. I love exploring somewhere. Usually, when I come here, I have a car, but I'm not driving here. I don't have a chauffeur this trip, so we just found another supermarket. We're gonna go look at the chocolate selection. The hunt for the salt, but look, they have some lovely soaps in here. And the salt, I'm so excited. So, you can get like a huge bag of it for $5.90. You can get a little baby one. I might actually just get a little baby one and refill it. They do a dinky one. It's expensive because it's like really good salt. I prefer the colour of this one. <gasps> the pink one. Oh, it's a breast cancer one. That's really good. 
And we've also got these hibiscus. So you can get the small versions, but I'm not gonna lie, I much prefer it in the little pot. And if I'm going with this one because the color's gonna go way nicer in my kitchen. With our purchase, honestly, that has made my day. I love a souvenir. Ibiza has like quite a lot of hippie undertones. Is that the right word to use? So they just have the most amazing like accessories and things ever and Emily and I are obviously gonna get a matching friendship bracelet last time I came I got one from the hippie market it was really special so we're gonna on this trip choose some sentimental friendship bracelets they're just so pretty I think we should get the ones we can never take off yes and then you're stuck with me I hear so much should we sit up here with a little drinky drink How healthy things are here, and this is a super green computer, which honestly looks and sounds amazing. So we're just walking back from Atzaro Beach now, which I honestly love it. So they actually have a hotel that's kind of in the middle of the island. On my last vlog, you'll see I went there with Josie and Charlie. Been there a few times because my friend was actually gonna get married there. It's really, really beautiful. Check I'm in focus. And everything is kind of like farm to table. The lunch at the spot that we just went to is so good. Again, you can see it on my last vlog. I'll actually pop some pictures on screen now to show what the food's like there because I have some clips from last time. You have to eat that, it's so good, but we do actually have a lunch reservation today at a beach club next to our hotel, so, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Even though the sun is not out today, I mean, it's trying to pop through. It is so hot, I am not complaining. So yeah, I had a lovely cucumber kombucha. We watched some surfing. Now we're heading back to the hotel to get ready for a beach club day, which is gonna be so nice and also so lazy of us but so convenient that the beach club is next to our hotel but if you are looking to do like a day bed that spot is so gorgeous ice cream oh wow we'll have to come and get frozen yogurt one day because our shashiatella is my favorite flavor this looks so good from the most gorgeous of walks and the most gorgeous of time at the beach club at Zorro and now we are heading to Nikki Beach which is literally next door but also running very late. How cute is this fit though? I'm so bloated, I don't know if it's because I'm hungry, I shouldn't be, I ate so much breakfast but she's ready, she's looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. Let's go baby girl. To buy this immediately, let's get our table and then maybe I'll look after and try it on. This is so cute, <gasps> I love it. sushi which looks amazing and then we've got sea bass and then we have got like a chicken satay with rice wow this looks so good thank you gone for a brownie which actually looks like a blondie brownie i think it's a salty caramel brownie and i think this is like a catalan cream i could be wrong it looks like it doesn't it creme brulee yeah wow gorgeous
Thumbs out, how perfect is this? Yay, so happy. And on today's selection of SPFs, we have all of them. Although this is not SPF, I'm having this pre-workout for later. It's my current favorite and I love the Valencia orange one. So, so good. Good evening, my loves. Nikki Beach was so good when I say such good food, such good vibes. There was a saxophone player, there was a drummer, Oh my gosh, the vibe and the crowd was so great as well. Just like great people, great food. Get the beef sushi. It was amazing. That was just such a great day. Um, it closed at 6 p.m. It's not a nighttime thing. It's a daytime thing. Now we're ready. We actually enjoyed some sun by the pool. We're both wearing white. And we have dinner at Radio Rooftop, which was so nice. And got hit on. I got hit on. Someone asked for my number today at the pool. So thank you, Hamish. <laughs> asking for my number that was really sweet it was a really nice confidence boost if you ever see Emma out and about just wolf whistle at her she loves it honestly like <laughs> it makes her day something really special about, about being asked for your number by the pool while you're festering I don't even look nice guys I literally look like a rat and there he was wearing on my Armani the what, really what, Dior shirt. no but what's that thing that they say on take on What's yeah, the I, I know what you mean, I don't know what it's it like is. It's like a song, he goes, and there he was, wearing Armani. It's another movie, I have movie, And I'm like, there he was, wearing his Dior shirt. So, thanks for that, sweetie. It was a lovely vote of confidence. But now, I've got a date, a hot date, with Emily Ken. Emily Ken Ham. She's Ken of the Ham. Dear right then, sweetheart, let's go. We We're going day. for the... Jenna, He's so hyped about the menu. Steak. Steak and fish, please. That's all I want. Sorry? Steak and fish, please. Yeah. a Jospa oven restaurant. Ah, thank you. Yum. Um, this is so good. This is like the best broccoli ever. Bread. Wow, look at this. And then we got our sangria. So excited about my singular oyster. She loves an oyster. Today at lunch, Emily and I played a game where it was tell me your favorite thing about the other person, tell me your least favorite thing about the other person. And I think you should all play that with your friends and family because it was really cute. But what we were actually just talking about is how, oh no, how great Jospa grilled food is. We're just having the broccoli, which by the way is the best broccoli I've ever eaten in my whole entire life. So you need to go to Radio Rooftop. And we were saying how have they made it so good? And it's basically grilled on a Jospa oven. It has pine nuts, it has like a green salsa verde and pomegranate seeds. Emily and I are so obsessed with pomegranate seeds that we're going to ask for a whole bowl of them tomorrow morning, aren't we? I think they had apricot too. Apricot as well and yeah, it's just absolutely delicious. So come at us when you see us suddenly at home, char grilling broccoli. They're like broccoli is so unsexy but I always order it because I love the side of it. It's my favourite it's, it's amazing but I could never make it this great at home. not be a trip to Spain, well, Ibiza, without me getting a tomato salad. I love a tomato salad. You might remember that from the Mallorca vlog last year. So we've got tomato salad, grilled veggies. We got some steak. We got some sea bream, did you say? Oh my gosh, it looks so good with like a salsa verde. We have some french fries en route. We've got our sangria. We've saved the alioli because it's amazing. I'm really excited to eat this. Bon appetito, honey. Look at these. These are like the best chips we've ever had. And then we got carrots with yogurt. This is so great. And look at this view. We are so happy. Oh, love cake, yum. And apple. Crumble. Oh, I don't know if the lava cake will be a bit bitter for you. Oh, it's very dark, isn't it? Yum.
I need to tell you why we were just howling at the camera in the corner of the world's smallest lift. Look, um, this is what it feels like. <laughs> Do you know what it feels like? <laughs> Love it's not what it's in you know what? blowing you away. You've done it. You're giving me the wrong hand. <laughs> so See? take my hand and it gets better than this. So, any boys watching, apparently you're supposed to step backwards Gosh, and not forwards. Does it hurt a bit? Like, do you feel like you're <laughs> squatting? <laughs> no, because they say if you try and lunge forward. You need to do like some lunge exercises. Yeah, you need to practice. You need to practice but apparently you're, they're supposed to step oh, their no, legs back. Oh. Yeah. Gosh, I wonder if, if boys practice proposals. Anyway. Think, do you think they go to the gym? <laughs> proposal course. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We should ask that. Oh, guys, we were laughing because Emily and I were saying that. I become addicted to certain words. Gosh, this is not the angle. I become addicted to certain words. Comment below, does anyone else do this? So there'll be like a phrase or a word and I cannot stop saying it. And once it's in my vocabulary, I just can't stop. Like one that I say a lot because of Josie is Yomarillo. Oh, you say that? Please. It drives me insane and I can't stop saying it because she got it into my head. Her friend Rory, and actually she did. When I hang around with people, I'm like a chameleon. Is that the right word? And I pick up what they say. Anyway, the two words of choice at the moment are slay and slap. So like, oh my gosh, that slaps or that slays. And Emily and I were just howling. Like genuinely could not get my words out. Felt like I was gonna vomit. She said it was it so every funny. Third sentence. Because Emily was like, slay my name. <laughs> I was like, slay it again. Slay again. <laughs> yeah, I was slaying. So dinner was actually slay. Dinner slapped. No, it was really go. good. Dinner at Radio Rooftop. Oh my goodness. Probably the best fries. The nicest waiters. I've ever had the nicest waiters. The service was so good. The food was amazing. Genuinely, we had steak, we had sea bass. The starters, just go and get the broccoli and the guac. Mm. On that note, we're gonna have to go do a very late loop because we are very full and we need to get rid of some of this energy. Yeah, I know, otherwise I'm gonna be wired. I might lose in my pajamas. I am wired right now. I'm like so tired, but also so wired. It's just. You know what it feels like loving someone who's in a rush to throw you away. Do you know, do you know, do you know? I, no, actually, I've never had that. I've never been thrown away by a guy, sorry. <sighs> On that night. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, the sun is amazing today. We are dashing to get ready and then we're gonna have breakfast and we are gonna festa. We are going to festa in the sun all day. We were meant to have a boat planned. We found someone with a boat, but they've canceled it because it's so windy. So that was the plan today. Last night was, oh my goodness, hilarious and delicious. We ate the most amazing food on the rooftop. The service was great, the food was good. I can't stop thinking about the broccoli, like I need to go every time to have that broccoli and those fries. And we were just so giddy and so giggly. Oh my goodness, I can't even. Hilarious. Anyway, that was really funny. And we're gonna do some breakfast. Do some breakfast, we're gonna have a lot of breakfast because the breakfast here is so good, so many healthy options. I literally can't wait. And then we're just gonna enjoy, enjoy the rooftop. We've got a barley bed. I'm really sad that we're not going on a boat. I am actually quite sad, but maybe we'll go into the sea for a little swim. There's nothing better than like sea, a sea, salty sea on the skin. So I need to get Emily. I mean, we are sharing a room, but she's not in said room right now because she's assessing the rooftop situation. a feast for breakfast, avocado toast, and I told him that I liked pomegranate seeds so he brought me some tomatoes. I had to go for the chickpea fried egg, obviously papaya. No cherries today though, I'm so sad about that. No, I need to ask them, do they have any cherries? Good morning. 
It is windy up here. We were meant to have a boat today, but it's too windy. So we're gonna fester by the beach bed, which honestly, we need. And I can't wait for it. very happy girl because she finally got a pizza and I even brought it up for us. It also looks like a 10, 10 pizza and then also sushi. It just looks amazing. That is, oh, that is criminal to do that with a uh, fork. Oh no. Good evening, we are back from the festering festerers of Festersville. I love that word, I think it's a British word to say fester. I said it to Emily, my Canadian friend, and it's like one of our favourite things to do together. We're like, we're just gonna fester. And she was like, that's such a great word. It's up there with like the word ick. That's an ick. So we're well, matchy, kind of. I love that dress on you, you look stunning. Thank you. I feel like a little bit better now. You look tanned. Amazing. Emily has tanned today. I think we're probably gonna swap dresses like later in the night. We're actually heading to one of my favorite, favorite spots on the island tonight. I have a lot of favorite spots, but this is definitely up there in my top three. It's called Amante, and I actually discovered it because of my brother. It's one of my brother's favourite spots and he told me years ago if you make one reservation on the island it has to be a mante. Normally we would drive there but we don't have a car so we're going to go try to get a taxi. Wish us luck. It's about 30 minutes from the hotel so we need to go. And yeah, they, you can't reserve taxis here. You just kind of have to go out and wait. So hopefully we'll be fine. We could only get quite an early reservation but hopefully it means that as the sun sets we'll be able to watch it. And it's just the most beautiful beach club you might remember from one of my vlogs not too long ago. A few years back actually. So it actually was quite long ago. I went with my my couple group of friends and we had such a great night there Hi. so I can't wait to show Emily and this is the fit let's do this oh, it's so nice you look so good I'm so excited to be back here literally my favorite place It's officially not my favourite restaurant anymore, they don't have Ali Ole. I want to leave feeling like a piece of Ali Ole, but they do have Olive Tap and Day. Yum. It's like you're gonna want a bite of chocolate, it will hit the spot. Thank you so much. Enjoy, thanks. For the chocolate sphere, which honestly looks insane. Good morning team. 
Oh my goodness, I am so tired, but my ears need to pop. I don't know how Emily and it I... It is need to pop. Yeah, they feel like they've gone really funny. Oh no. I don't know how Emily and I come on these trips and always leave ten times tired than when we arrived. I think it's getting an early flight that we'll just like, you need a week to like figure yeah. out after that. Yeah. Um, we planned to get up this morning for the sunrise, but there wasn't a sunrise. Even though the weather is going to be amazing today, it's like bright blue gorgeous skies. So I think I'm going to take you guys up to the rooftop one more time. Then we're going to have a lovely breakfast. Dinner last night was like 10 out of 10. <laughs> we went to Amante. I got monkfish. Um, they didn't have alioli though, which I feel like is maybe a little bit... Do you think it's been a trend this trip that people just haven't had it? Yeah, it's just not. Maybe it's like more touristy. Spanish people, do you actually eat alioli? Aioli? Or am I just... Is it a tourist thing? Um, but yeah, the view from Amante is amazing and you can like walk up to the top and there's like a swing. Probably be a really nice hike in the daytime actually. There's mm. so many good hikes here. So, that was honestly dreamy then we came back here and we really just enjoyed around the hotel area like we saw we actually watched the sunset which was so special so we're gonna take you up and hopefully see a beautiful view hopefully less wind um and then we're gonna really enjoy some breakfast before unfortunately we have to leave early because i have a shoot i have a shoot literally today that is my fault and i also have one tomorrow but so does that money so find friends that will come on trips with you when you have to cut them short because you have a have a shoot but let's go and check out the views and eat It's so gorgeous out here. So this is where we wanted to come to watch the sunrise this morning, but I don't know why there wasn't a sunrise. But it's still utterly gorgeous out here. Let's see what they have today. They have croissants filled with turkey and chicken. Um, they have the salad that Emily and I are literally dreaming about. Oh, today they've got a tomato mozzarella salad. We've been building our own guacamole and when I say it's so good, you just make your toast and build your own guacamole on top. I'm definitely getting one of these fried eggs to go on top. Oh, this one looks good, but this has got more yolk. Let's go for the one with more yolk. <laughs> and then my favorite section, the yogurt corner, mainly because I just want a chia pot. I don't really think that classes as yogurt, does it? I love that they have overnight oat pots in here. That is such a sleigh. The baked section for anyone who missed it last time because who doesn't love a cake pot? Am I going to get some Nutella to go with my fruit? Yes. Yes, I am. It's a problem. <gasps> it's been freshly refilled. Oh no. It's like they saw me coming. Yum. I'm a child. I have to have Nutella. I need to find some strawberries and some cherries. That would really make my day. Oh, I should lick that really. Obviously I can't because it's a communal place, but if I was at home, yum. Ooh. Carrot, ginger and orange juice. Oh my gosh, how did I mess that up so much? Don't mind if I do. We are feasting. Emily does this thing where she puts jam and Nutella on her eggs. I don't know how I feel about that mixture. Um, I'm very much a have to keep my sweet, sweet and my savory, savory kind of girl.
guys and just like that i am back from the beautiful beautiful island of ibiza ignore the hair i know i look ridiculous as i get told every single time i have pink heels in but i'm actually heading to something really exciting today which is going to be another vlog it has been a whirlwind since landing we did not even have time to say goodbye to the vlog in the taxi on the way home because it was such a whirlwind i basically had to come back for a really 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 exciting shoot i actually had two back-to-back -back shoots and now heading to a really exciting weekend so i just want to say like wow that was such a fun trip i've been talking to people about it this week and i've been saying to them it's one of those trips that like you can't plan stuff like that we didn't know it was going to be so funny we didn't know that we were going to just be like cackling and howling the whole time and it was just perfect we had the best food the best vibes I would definitely hire a car next time because there's a lot of places in Ibiza that I love to go to that we didn't get to go to because obviously we didn't have a car. But the great thing about it is that you can just go and stay in a hotel. You can go and you can explore. You can explore the local area or you can hire a car and see everything. If you do want to see more kind of recommendations from me, head to my Instagram and there's a bubble called Ibiza. And there's so many of my recommendations on there for like food, restaurants, hotels, everything. And also there's other vlogs like last year, I think last year I went and we did a road trip there. So I got lots and lots and lots of tips and tricks. Or you can just comment and ask me and I can help you. A few people on a Q&A on Instagram asked me like, is it family friendly? It is, it completely depends where you go. The hotel that we were at actually had so many cute little children running around the bottom pool and then the top pool was adults only. Someone also messaged, from, bleh, messaged me on Instagram and said that the Nobu hotel is really good for children as well so yeah if you have any questions just ask me but i feel so grateful i just saw i just posted an instagram that was like oh i just googled my symptoms and i just needed a holiday and that's how i feel like there's something so special about that vitamin d and just being in another country with your best friend and booking a flight so that was yeah absolutely amazing thank you for watching if you made it this far comment below and tell me your favorite spanish food if you don't have a favorite spanish food you can just tell me your favorite food mine is obviously alioli with bread i also like the tomato bread that they do there it's so good i also like croquettes i like it all but basically just comment and let me know and let's chat food and you're part of like the secret m shell youtube familia end of video watch club and i appreciate you so so much if you haven't already if you could hit subscribe it really helps my channel and come say hi on instagram m shellettes give this a thumbs up because again it's it just says to youtube that you like it and it really does help so thank you i appreciate you See you in the next vlog when I look less silly. No, I won't look less silly. I will still look less silly. Okay, see you soon.